Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the brand new 2021 Top Series 2 Baseball. This is six box jumbo. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All cards ship. A lot of fun stuff popping out of here. All right, so I, I guess there could, there's some golden tickets to go to some events and whatnot. So a lot of fun stuff. A very big thanks to everyone here for jumping in on the action. 2021 Top Series 2 Baseball 6 Box Jumbo Pick Your Team number 1 on a Friday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Friday with us. And there are all of your teams right there. Now, if you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in that team random that we did. All right, so there it is. Jumbo has six boxes right there. How many cards per pack? 46 cards per pack. 10 packs per box, 46 cards per pack. All cards ship. Yeah. I mean each of these each of these boxes feels like a a brick. I guess there's, there's, what are these two just loose cards just laying around here? All right, so there's Juan Soto right out of the gate, which is for Josh. And then there's Gary Carter for the, uh, for the Mets. That's going to be for Chris. Yeah, that's why this break's going to take a little, about an hour or so. Probably more. All right. Good luck, everybody. are kind of tiny right here. That's too small. They, they, they got to make the names larger and bolder. Series two, box number one. Good luck. So remember, all cards ship. Man, poor Dustin May really wanted really wanted a breakout season for him. Not sure what the I think these foils are pretty nice too. I think these are these are the variations, which I'm glad that they flipped around. Because that makes uh, that makes it easier for us to spot. These inserts are pretty fun as well. I think the gold foil parallels are every other box. And we've got a lot of promising rookies in this in this set. We just need one or two of these rookies to really start to start to break out. There's some fun die cuts here. And so I know I'm going a little quick, but just in the interest of time, we are going to have to do it that way. 
but remember everything ships so whatever parallels or variations that I might have missed or something like that um, they will all ship so fear not I don't know what. Yeah, shipping department will be busy with these breaks, Sean, that's for sure. Yeah, so give them a, a few extra days, ladies and gentlemen, a couple extra days for them to, to get all this sorted and shipped out. I'm not sure what rookies we're really looking for here. I think we still have, yeah, I think Cabrian Hayes is in this list. We'll look out for some of his rookie cards. Jazz Chisholm would be another one of those guys. Yeah, so those, those are the ones we're looking for there. So on and so forth in addition to the autographs. Just got to see what one of those cards look like, and I can keep an eye out for those. Cronenworth, he's pretty good. It's Clark Schmidt. We got a Justin Turner to 2021. And we got a gold rookie. Parallels are always nice. And that's uh, Jemai Jones for the Orioles. Wasn't he an angel? Yeah, he was. That goes to the O's. That'll be for Corey. Jansen, he's throwing the ball pretty well this year. Not surprisingly, he's healthy. It's also his uh, free agent year, his walk year. So, of course, he's always seems like that, right? It's a guy's walk year, and all of a sudden he's hitting well or pitching really well. I guess the main thing, though, for Kenley is, is that I think he's pretty healthy, healthy as he's ever been in recent years, so. so he's looking good. It's Ozzy Albies, and this is cool. There's a, there's Jonathan Aruaz, 153 out of 199. For the Red Sox, I like that sort of, what, what, what are they calling this parallel here? 199 they're calling that red foil nice red Sox. that's going to be for andrew there's our first relic alex bregman piece of his jersey going to aaron and the astros Isn't Trevor Rogers having a good season there for the Marlins? There he is. I think he's won NL Rookie of the Month the first two months, I want to say. Uh, 
That's for EA and the Marlins. There is uh, David Price to 2021 for the Dodgers. It's going to be for Henry, who's got my boys in blue. Here is the autograph right here, and Ryan Weathers, gold autograph for PJ and the Padres. Rookie gold, and Derek Lee. Remember Derek Lee? 42 out of 50. Cubs autograph. That goes to Corey, who won the Cubs in that team random. That's Joey Bart, rookie for Joe P. Supposed to be the future Buster Posey. I'm sure he would have been called up sooner, but Buster Posey has turned back the clock a little bit. So I think Joey Bart has been hanging out in the minors, hitting pretty well. Arthur, what's going on? Go Suns, he says. Yeah, we've been hearing from Joe P last few weeks. Sons are playing some good basketball. You're on the bandwagon, huh? Oliver Sore, you played some basketball with Derek Lee. What, what, what kind of what kind of game does Derek Lee have? And we got a JD Martinez to 70 with the top 70 print in the background there. That's for the Red Sox, that goes to Andrew. Are they calling it the 70, yeah, Platinum Anniversary is what they call it, out of 70. No, no it's not a bandwagon? You've, you've been a Suns fan all your life. All right, just making sure, just checking, Arthur. Oh, I feel like there's I feel like there's gonna be a lot of bandwagon fans that are appearing in Phoenix. Have you seen them on the streets? There's the Cabrian Hayes. So his rookie card, he's in the field, All right? And there's Gold Future Stars. And we've got a, what is this? This is the Independence Day out of 76. 76 out of 76. That's Stephen Piscotti for the A's. Rick Thomas. Ryan Hayes with the Pirates. Chad with the Buckos. And another relic here. Nice. Big rookie card relic. Jake Cronenworth. Logo patch. I think these are manufactured patches, but still looks pretty cool. PJ and the Padres. All 100s. I need 130s. Oh wow, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that that Derek Lee had a full ride to North Carolina for both baseball and basketball. Or sign with the Padres as a first rounder, you end up signing with the Padres. That's crazy. I did not know that. I think, I want to say that there was, um, wasn't Tony Gwynn actually a pretty good basketball player? And that he could have, that he could have maybe carved out a career as a, I mean, I think he was a much better baseball player, but I think he could have carved out a career as a basketball player. Yeah, that rookie patch is pretty cool. All right, here are your uh, silver packs, the hobby exclusive packs. So those will have all the mojo refractors on there. There's Ryan Jeffries, Lewin Diaz, Lindor, Sandberg. There's a Joey Bart, Josh Bell, Blake Snell, and a Nate Pearson. Nice. All right, that was just box one. Box two. Arthur's got, Arthur's got got some uh, some sun stuff tattooed. On. I was just making sure, Arthur. People, 
don't know. I, from my perspective, I just don't hear anybody talk about the Suns, and all of a sudden, one playoff run, and all of a sudden, everyone's talking all this big talk about the Suns. And I was, I was, I was just wondering if they were just new fans, or just haven't heard them talk about them before. Like it's nothing to talk about, really, before, right? All right, another jumbo here. Is that right? Tony Gwynn is the leading scorer in San Diego State basketball? Wow. Andrew, I'm, I'm almost certain that of a mixer of that caliber, of that size, that there's probably a few fillers that we have to do. Double check the website, Andrew, and make sure... Uh, and make sure you uh, see all that. I'm sure there's fillers involved. Let me know if there is. I know, right? I think Arthur said back in the day that maybe that maybe Arthur's parents were originally from Dallas, or is that his dad was a big Cowboys fan or something like that, and that got passed down. By parents, perhaps? That's some good trivia, Oliver. I really like that. Who is the leading scorer in San Diego State Aztec basketball history? Oh, there you go. And no Cardinals in Arthur's formative years. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people in L.A. who are not... I mean... Just no football in certain markets leaves a whole generation or two of like fans who just have different allegiances. All right. Jumbo box number two. Good luck. Jazz Chisholm is supposed to be pretty good. There's a Jazz Chisholm and a Kevin Crimear. I don't know why that was turned around. Maybe that's a variation. I'll sleeve it up anyway. There's Larry Walker. Piece of his lumber. Game used lumber. Going to the rocks. That's going to be for Chris. Chris Maxwell with that. Someone go out there, I'm, I'm still thinking about that Tony Gwynn stat. Someone go out there and try to win a bar bet on, uh, on that San Diego State stat. There's Cody Hewer for the White Sox. Mark Casanzo, Mark picking up the, uh, getting the White Sox in that team random. bit too tiny there is a Randy Johnson that must be some sort of short print or variation because it was flipped around Mariners Jesse with the M's And there's a rookie goal that drew uh, Rasmussen. Rookie gold for John and the Brew Crew. All 
Arthur has all three of his favorite teams tattooed on it. Nice. And there's Tanner Hawk, which I guess they're probably just calling this green foil, right? Yeah, green foil to four ninety nine for the Red Sox. Andrew C. With that, we got one of those relics again. Nice. It's a Jazz Chisholm rookie card relic. Nice logo patch. Looks pretty cool. Goes to EA and Miami. Nice. So commemorative patch right here. I don't know how much value this stuff has, but I think they look really sharp. And that's a Shane Bieber. That's a facsimile autograph, isn't it? Yeah, because we already got the blue auto. Yeah, that doesn't look real. That's a facsimile autograph. It would say on the back, too. This can get a little. This can get a little tricky. And Arthur's thinking about a Jaspie's tattoo. I mean, this logo would be pretty cool. Fun inserts here. All right, another little stack. I flip these cards around like this, it's gonna go the other way, which is a little annoying. There's Tanner Rourke to 2021. Tanner will go to Toronto, PJ, with the Blue Jays. PJ, Blue Jays. a rookie Tom Hatch to 2021 and this is a I don't know if you can kind of tell but that's more of a paper background this is more of that glossy background right there that's pretty cool that's Bubba Starling 62 out of 99 for Chris and the Royals and this hatch will go to PJ and the Blue Jays Another Cabrian Hayes right here for Pittsburgh. And that is Chad, Chad D with the Buckos. Castle has been playing some good good baseball lately as well. I know a lot of you must have pulled some Ryan Mountcastle and some of our older some of our older uh, Bowman breaks, so 
keep an eye out for those. Dig those out. Corey, uh, Corey Parson with the Orioles. Now, these exclusive packs here with the Mojo Refractors. Yeah, I guess Dylan Carlson's maybe another name that we're looking for, right? It's for the Cardinals, Austin with the Redbirds. Joe Adele, I think he's hitting pretty well in the minors. He might be called up soon. All right, next two boxes. Look at these loose cards just rattling around the top there. It's kind of odd. There's Tin Lincecum for the Giants. It's Joe P. And we've got Tyler Glass now with another uh, tricky facsimile autograph right there for the Rays. That's going to go to Thomas R. All right, next box. Any games going on right now? No, I think, I think some games are warming up. Just one final today. Cubs beat the Cardinals 8-3. Kimbrell with a 16th save. Nance with the win. Genesis Cabrera with the loss. That's the only game in the books. we got Sixers Hawks. Coming up in about an hour. Next box, good luck. I think we're gonna try to try to catch as many of these as possible, but just in the interest of time, we gotta go a little bit faster in this break. There's Michael Chavis to 2021. That's for the Red Sox, that's for Andrew. Miley to 2021 and we've got a Lewin Diaz looks like short printer variation for EA and the Marlins the Wade Miley goes to Henry and the Reds and the Trevor Rogers will be for EA and the fish
thought I saw Cabrian Hayes there. There you go. Another Jazz Chisholm. Next stack up here. And we got out of 299, we've got orange foil, Devin Williams. I want a John and the Brew Crew. And we got a Joey Bart relic, 151 out of 199, major league material. Going to Joe P and my rivals, the Giants. <laughs> no, you suck. Oh boy. Yeah, Joe P. Little Mermaid, classic, some classic songs. And they're on that commercial. And there's a Raphael Marchand rookie autograph for Derek and the Phillies. <laughs> I know, right, Joe P? School must have gotten out early. Derek Hamilton, or actually. Just got home from school. Parents haven't gotten home yet. So they they got, got, got on the computer. Summer, so you just got out of summer school. Probably Thomas. I, I I don't even know what a what a Roblox is. And out of four ninety nine, we've got so we got Tony Watson, green foil for Joe P. Ryan Weathers, and we got Adonis Medina, and we've we got all sorts of things here. We've got Jackie Bradley Jr., Red Sox edition for Andrew out of 300. We got gold foil Adonis Medina for the Phillies. That's going to be rookie gold foil for the Phillies. That'll be for Derek. Out of 2021, we got rookie. Ryan Weathers going to PJ and the Padres. And we got a, another Trevor Rogers for EA and the rookie card logo patch, Sixto Sanchez for EA and the Fish. Ooh, Thomas wants to see a one of one. I'd love to see a Super Fractor pop out of here. We still have 
a lot of boxes to go. Another facsimile autograph on that Aaron Judge. Now remember, all card chip. I know I'm going pretty quickly through this, but this break is going to take long enough already. So, so we want to breeze through these quickly, but we'll kind of settle on some of the some of the parallels, especially if they're rookies. This is not, but let's try to settle on some of the parallels, some of the fun inserts. Obviously the hits. All right. Bonus packs. I've seen in previous years, I've seen some of these uh, these hobby exclusive packs. I've seen some of them have autographs and I've seen some with lower number parallels. So there's that potential as well. Nothing too crazy there, but of course they will ship. All right, another box. All right, so there's these, these exclusive packages. I don't know why they have these just cards just all loosey-goosey. Just sitting on top. It's feels a little odd, but that's the way they're playing it. So one of these guys is Stan the Man for Austin. And then we've got a Joe Adele rookie for Corey and the Angels. Next. So what I don't know what else is going on in baseball. Apparently oh, Chicago White Sox playing seeing Nick Madrigal on the sixty day IL with a hamstring issue. It's a pretty solid hitter. Man, White Sox have been Kind of hit hard with some injuries to some key players. D backs fire hitting coaches, all of them, I guess. For the GM backing Lovello. Mets GM rebuts Alonzo's manipulated ball theory. New York GM Zach Scott rebuts Pete Alonzo, says balls have no influence on pay. Interesting. Well, of course the GM would say that. Mets acting general manager Zach Scott refuted New York first baseman Pete Alonzo's charge that Major League Baseball has been manipulating baseballs to hurt potential free agents, saying changes to the baseball have no influence on how players are valued or played, paid. Maybe until, like, the numbers at the end of the season... Got a short print of some sort. Yeah, the Aaron Nola. That's a cool shot. Maybe a drone shot? Derek with the Phillies. And there's Chris Bubich. Rookie relic for the Royals. That's going to be for Chris Maxwell. And numbered as well, 146 to 199 with the black border. Haven Smith to 2021 Diamondbacks. John with the Snakes. One of the few, hopefully, one of the few, part of the future, the Diamondbacks. Alejandro Kirk 
70 years of baseball autograph going to PJ and the Blue Jays. This rookie auto, there's Barry Larkin, Hank Aaron. And to 70, we've got Ryan Zimmerman. What is this parallel called? Uh, maybe this is the 70, oh yeah, this is the platinum anniversary is numbered to 70, 35 out of 70. Ryan Zimmerman for the Nats, that'll be for Josh Cruz. Another Jazz Chisholm for Joe, uh, For sorry, check that for EA and the Marlins. There's another Joe Adele is what I was gonna say for Corey and the Angels. Is that some red coming up? Or is that just the back of the card? That looks like the back of the card. It's J.D. Martinez. I feel like that should be numbered. But it's not. Red Sox. Andrew with that one. And the rookie logo patch. That's going to be Alex Kirlov. Josh Melton, who won the Twins in that team random, gets this commemorative patch. I think it looks really cool. I thought that Dallas Keuchel was numbered for a second, but it's not. Everything ships, though. All right, onwards. Another Joey Bart there for the Giants. I think he was a former number one overall pick, Joe P. At least one of the top picks. He's up there. Seen, I don't think we've seen the auto. Oh, no, we saw the autograph. It's Alejandro Kirk. Okay. We got gold rookie Daz Cameron for the Tigers. That'll be for PJ, who won the Tigers in that team random that we did. And we've got some foil here out of 299. Alex Colome, Josh Melton with the Twins with the uh, orange foil. Yeah, out of 299. Got Alejandro Kirk again, rookie silver for PJ and the Jays. Strowman is 2021. There's Miguel Sano. There's 
So Chris Maxwell with the Metropolitans. EA with the Marlins. I keep thinking that's Cabrian Hayes, but Cabrian Hayes is in the field. That's his that photo for him. Brendan Rogers. All right. Bonus packs, the hobby exclusive packs. And then the final two boxes of this series two break. All right. Joe P, I got that Willie Mays for you right here. Boom. Just sitting loose right on top of these. All right, there's Jazz Chisholm for EA and the Marlins. Aaron Judge for the Yankees and let's dive into it the next one let's see what other, what other news do we have here according to MLBTradeRumors.com uh oh Diamondbacks general manager Mike Hazen to take a physical leave of absence hopefully he's okay Giants outright Scott Kazmir. We saw Nick Madrigal going on the 60-day IL, and they pick up Brian Goodwin. Rangers designate Chris Davis with a K for assignment. Phillies outright Scott Kingery. They outright Scott Kingery? Evan Longoria out four to six weeks with a shoulder spasm. Chris Davinsky undergoing Tommy John surgery. And I guess... The Red Sox ended up acquiring the players to be named later in that Andrew Benintendi deal. Didn't Scott Kingery sign like a... Yeah, the Phillies announced they... Wow. They have reinstated uh, infielder, outfielder Scott Kingery from the injured list and outright in AAA Lehigh Valley. Kingery cleared waivers is no longer part of the Phillies' 40-man roster, though he's still with the organization. Needless to say, this is not what the Phillies had in mind when they signed Kingery to a six-year, $24 million deal in the 2018 season. Kingery hadn't even played in the majors at that moment, making his deal the largest for anyone who hadn't appeared in the bigs. The former second-round pick was a top-tier prospect then, uh, which, the Phillies, which led the Phillies to gamble on locking him up at what they thought was going to be team-friendly prices for the long haul. He's earning four million this year, and the club owes him, a, or the club owes him a combined fifteen million from twenty twenty two to twenty twenty four, with a buyout as well. Wow. Yeah, I remember when that deal happened, and people are wondering, oh, is this going to be like the future of how, of how teams handle like their top prospects? But this might be a case against that maybe leading more teams to just do the arbitration process. All right, we got Marcelo Zuna, 0 to 60, and a Charlie Blackman in the name. One of one. Wow, Rockies. Chris Maxwell got the Rockies in that team random we did. It was the random team break within this picker team break and ends up with a one of one, the L of Blackman. Now, Chris, I feel like 
whether you in, wanted to or not, I feel like it is now your mission in life to complete the last name. That, that burden is on you now. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, I think you have to accept it. Chris with the Rockies, congrats. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Wasn't Thomas looking for a one of one as well? See, we got we got that one of one. We got a 2021 out of 2021 Jazz Chisholm for EA. And our autograph is Nick Castellanos for the Reds. There you go. Yeah, Thomas spoke that into existence. He's like, let's get a one of one. I appreciate it, Thomas. Thank you. 120 out of 199 Nick Castellanos for the Red Legs. That'll be for Henry. shot right there. You got a target field logo in the background. We got, well, there's picture time right here for the Braves. Out of 2021, Jose Garcia, also for Henry and the Reds. And there's Scott Kingery right there. Yeah, he was, he was supposed to be, you heard us talking about him. big deal. And again, I remember we had some people had speculated that, hey, with that Kingery deal, maybe this is how young players are going to get signed and held on to in those, through those arbitration years and maybe get those young players at a bargain. And, and instead of battling with them in arbitration year after year, there's a rookie silver Paven Smith for John. Although they did lock up, didn't they lock up Ozzy Albies to an early deal? Or was it Acuna or was it both? So maybe maybe that strategy is still kind of a still kind of alive. There's another Cabrian Hayes. Haven't seen his auto or like a nice parallel, but seen some base cards. Some of those could grade out nicely. Pirates, Chad D with the Buckos. Got a rookie, Dean Kramer, right here for the O's, Corey.
Christian Pache, I thought was going to have a big season. He's, he's been, uh, I think he's been battling some injuries on and off, and just really hasn't gotten his season into gear. Out of 499, green foil, Chris Davis, who was just designated for assignment. He heard us talking about him too. Corey Parson with the Rangers. And look at this. Steven Strasburg, 2019 World Series champion. Looks like a manufactured commemorative World Series ring medallion. That's pretty cool. Josh Proust with the Nationals. Nice. There's another Joe Adele. And the exclusive packs. And then our final box, believe it or not. There's a nice Alec Baum. We need Alec Baum to heat up a little bit. Still plenty of time this season, Derek. So it would be good for the hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby. All right. Final box. Good luck, everybody. Mike Piazza, Mets edition, going to Chris. There's Elo Jimenez for the White Sox. Mark for the White Sox. Get well soon. Joe, quick question. Yes. 2018, it still goes to the current team, the Saints. Uh, we give it to Tom LA. We'll give it to the team he was on in 2018. Oh. Yeah, because there's a checklist. Oh. So the only time we do that is when there's no checklist. All right, what else is going on here? The the looming crackdown on foreign substances, according to MLBTradeRumors.com. This was an article written, what, a couple days ago by Steve Adams on MLBTradeRumors.com. It's been less than a week since Major League Baseball made known that it will begin to crack down on the use of foreign substances by pitchers. And it's possible we've already seen some tangible results among some of the game's more prominent arms. Jorge Castillo of the LA Times pointed out that the spin rate of Trevor Bauer's four-seamer dropped by about a couple hundred RPMs, revolutions per minute. Hitters around the league are monitoring such changes as evidenced by Josh Donaldson, wondering aloud. When asked by Dan Hayes at the Athletic, is it coincidence that Garrett Cole's spin rate numbers went down Thursday after four minor leagues got suspended for 10 games? Now, Yankees fans may bristle at seeing their ace called out, but Cole himself struggled to formulate an answer when plainly asked whether use increasingly potent foreign substances, spider tack in particular, to doctor the ball. Yeah, that was kind of an awkward one right there. I don't know. That's a it's a it's a tricky situation. I don't know if baseball. I think baseball would rather try to try to get this taken care of as quickly and as quietly under, uh, as possible. Because if they start unpacking everything, I think they're going to realize that it's going to be a lot of pitchers, <laughs> a lot of top tier pitchers, on a lot of top tier teams have been using a little extra. Which I think is a lot like the, it's, it's, it's for me it parallels the, the PED thing where baseball just kind of sat around and didn't really, didn't really enforce PED rules 
And then it kind of went unchecked and it ballooned to a certain level, almost to crisis proportions. And I feel like the same thing kind of happened with them. I don't know if Manfred is, Robert Manfred's commissioner tenure has not been very, very good, I think, in my opinion. All right. Final box, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. We'll do a quick little recap at the at the end here. There's Adam Duvall to 300, and a Trey Turner relic, Major League Material. I know everyone cares about my fantasy team. I just made a trade for Trey Turner today. Pretty excited about that. Get him in my lineup tomorrow. Moved, uh, moved Wander Franco and Christian Javier in my keeper league. I also got Josh Hader too. A couple others. That, that was the main part of the deal. I was pretty excited about that. Trey Turner's having a pretty solid season. It's showing a little more power than he has in previous years. And I don't know if that's going to continue, but but he's definitely got average, on base, speed, stuff, stuff that I need for my fantasy team. And speaking of Trey Turner, there's his teammate, Carter Keeboom, Josh Proust, and the Nationals. So a couple Nats for Josh, another Cabrian for Chad. This guy right here, this guy's also healthy. Also healthy and, and looking pretty good. Anyone have any thoughts on the uh, MVP award? I just looked it up. The current NL National League MVP award odds: Ronald Acuna is three to one, Tatis Jr. three to one. I think Degrom is at seven to one, plus seven hundred. I feel like Jake Degrom splashing a bit of money at those odds are pretty good. I don't think his Cy Young odds. He's like probably a prohibitive favorite. So you're not going to get too much value out of his Cy Young odds, but if you go if you go maybe MVP odds at seven to one, I don't know if you're feeling good about that. That might not be a bad might not be a bad investment there. I got a JP Crawford and another championship ring there. So there's JP Crawford, 69 out of 70 for Jesse and the Mariners. There's, uh, that's Nicky Lopez. There's Victor Reyes for Detroit. It's out of 2021. And the old chip off the old block. The commemorative World Series ring. Commemorating the 1995 World Series victory for the Braves. Kevin Graham with the Bravos. Seven out of 70. That was a pretty good team. There's another Cabrian Hayes. Chris Bryant's at 13 to one. That might not be bad. Might not be a bad flyer if you wanna invest a little something. Uh, the other other ones seem, I mean, Nick Castellanos is 13 to one. Trey Turner's 18 to one. Bryce Harper, 20 to one. And yeah, it start, starts to get a little a little long after that, but Mookie Betts at 25 to one. If you think he's going to crush in the second half of the season, remember a lot of times these baseball writers, 
don't really think about the first half of the season. They kind of they kind of go off of the second half of the season a lot of times. We saw that happen with Josh Donaldson not too long ago. So maybe if you think about, hey, uh, I don't know, Corey Seager, who's at 50 to 1. Let's say he just just destroys the last second half of the season. You know, that could that could be a good good flyer. Splash a little bit of something there. And the AL AL MVP odds, Shoei Otani at six to five. He's almost even money, plus one twenty. And I think at the beginning that was a mistake on my part. At the beginning of the season, I don't think I think his odds were maybe like ten to one, eighteen to one, something like that. So those odds have changed dramatically for Shohei. That market has shifted. There's Gregory Polanco to 2021. There's Andrew Miller, gold foil for the Cardinals. Another pirate for Chad. Behind Shohei is uh, Vlad Guerrero at plus, two, uh, plus 230. And then it jumps all the way to plus 2,000. J.D. Martinez, Andrew Bogarts, Byron Buxton, Aaron Judge. So... The favorites right now in the AL MVP race, Shohei Otani and Vlad Guerrero Jr. You gotta think it's Otani, right? If he keeps it up. There's Didi Gregorius out of 2021. And out of 499, we got Scott Kingery, green foil for the Phillies. Derek. And there is the Didi for the Phillies. That'll be for Derek. All right, last stack coming up. I see a little bit of a, a yellow border right here. Maybe that might be a different parallel. We'll see. I don't think I have no randomizers or anything like that to do. A lot of uh, a lot of gradable cards here. A lot of grading possibilities in this series too. A lot of rookies that you may just want to. Kind of some corner issues there. Some rookies that you may just want to hold and just kind of see how they end up doing as the end of the, as the season continues. Still a lot of season left, so there a lot of wait and see. I feel like Jordan Alvarez, Mike. Oh, so that was the yellow border on that card. And remember, in these uh, jumbo pick your teams on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Uh, all card ship. And Jojo Romero closes things out. Let's see what's in these exclusive packs. Dean Kramer, Contreras, Olsen, Alejandro Kirk. And the last exclusive pack here, Kyle Lewis. There's a Cabrian Hayes, Jose Barrios, and a Joey Bart. That's numbered 93 out of 99. That's for Joe P. And the Giants. And the Cabrian Hayes, of course, goes to the Pirates. Chad with that. And that is that, boys and girls. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting in. Let's show you, there's a lot of cards that are gonna be sleeved and top loaded. Let me just show you those. A lot of those were numbered 20 to 21 or maybe were a sort of outstanding rookie or potentially outstanding rookie here. All the different foils are really cool. The different years that you see are really nice. 
Love all the different foils. A lot of different... Good set building here, just because there's so many parallels. A lot of some facsimile autographs in the mix. Yeah, there's that old late 80s wood border right there, which is a classic. Here's what we saw towards the end. Right, and there you go. and here are the relics and autographs. These rookie card commemorative patches are pretty cool. There's Derek Lee, and we got that one of one, Charlie Blackman, the letter L, which is really sharp. Thanks, everybody. That was 2021 Top Series 2 Baseball 6-Box Jumbo. Pick your team break number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.